Hi and hello, and welcome to another fascinating installment of Mad Jackal Labs. I will be your host, guide, and teacher, Dr. Johnny Hellfire. And today, we have something very interesting and different to do. For today, I will be messing around with AV sciences, as particularly these old camcorders with VHSC and all that good stuff. I'm all for the preservation of old recordings and whatnot, and I always need ways of transferring it. So if you have one of these little bastards, well, I'll show you how to take what's on there and put it on here. It's very easy, quick, simple, and trust me, you'll love it. So, first, what you'll need to do is basically get one of these bad boys. I'm working with VHSC, and I had a case around here somewhere, but I don't know where the hell it went. Maybe it went over here, maybe it went over there, who knows. But for now, you'll just have to take my word for it. Now, basically, what you'll have to do, because a lot of these old machines, they only are mono, so you only have two connections. This one is just a simple little you know, headphone jack looking connection. And what I'm using here, and I'll get in close, uh, is, focus, focus, there we go. Almost, almost. Well, you get the point. Let's see. Ah, there you are. The Easy Cap Adapter. It's very cheap, easy, and quick to get. You can get it on Amazon for like around $3. Link down below. But the tricky part is the manufacturers who developed this neat little piece of tech, well, they didn't make software drivers and they were kind of a mystery online for a while until this awesome fella right here let me see where he is this guy linked down below created a app for said capture card it's it's handy it's neat it's awesome but yes now for the Panasonic Palm Quarter Palm Site PVL557. I shall provide a link for the instruction manual just in case that's why you're here. It'll help out with a lot of answers and questions and troubleshooting and all that good stuff to get this little monster working for you once again. And don't ever throw out these nifty little old camcorders because, yes, you may not be making movies with them, but they are good for archiving. So it's all oh, because they don't just act as a camera, they're basically like a miniature VCR for that format. So this bad boy will go in my collection for sure. Now, what you do is go here and download the most recent one. It will be provided right here. Again, link down below. Now, once you get that, you'll run it, or you'll unzip it, and you'll get a little icon, like here, and basically this will pop up. Now, once you have this on, and you have everything plugged in, don't get all excited just yet. So it seemed like all hell wanted to break loose all at once. So first, for some reason or another, my computer crashed. I'm thinking maybe this might be the culprit. So be careful, okay? Second, my card filled up, so I had to change that out. So when you get this, as I was explaining, before you do anything, be sure to click up here, go to Configure Device, the menu will pop up at any point in time, hopefully here soon. You'll want to go down here and make sure to put it on USB audio interface so that way you can actually capture the audio from this as well. Because, you know, silent pictures and all. Well, it appears that we've had a lot of interesting technical difficulties. So, I've come to have to move to another device, my younger 
version of a smart router. I will provide a link down below for that as well if you're curious. It's actually pretty nifty. And I'll leave that for the video. Anyways, I hooked it up. I added, uh, added the software. It seems stable on here. Lion. Who knew it? Anyways, so I will pick up where I le uh, left off. First you'll want to hit this. Then you'll want to go up here and go to start recording. Now be sure to have the audio configured. Let's do that real quick. Put that. Just going to give it a cursory glance. Yes. And be sure to have it hooked up to the USB capture card so that way it will actually get the audio. Then hit that, go here, hit start recording. Then we shall go ahead and load it on there. We'll put test four for good luck and hit record on that. Then go to the little monster and hit play. And now it is capture carding. Hey, who's that handsome devil there? I wonder. Well, if you want to actually see the quality of this video when it's done, I will post that up there as a separate tutorial that I shot with just this camera. It's a simple one, an easy, and probably not for everyone. But, but, this requires a jump cut. Hooah! So there you have it, basically complete in a nutshell, after a few dozen attempts, hopefully it will actually save like I hoped for, but it looks like it did, thank god. Now my opinions on the easy cap, eh, I would probably, you know, hush you. I would probably, you know, if you're in a pinch, okay, go for it. If you know what you're doing, go for it. If you have an older machine that won't crash on you, go for it. But if you're really, 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 really in need, ah, turn you off and rewind, I would probably go ahead and spend a few extra bucks on a better version. One that doesn't crash your computer. This, I just have, well, you know, yeah. But I'll provide a link for everything down below. Now this camera, pretty nice. I like it. Fortunately, it's tape. So, if I wanted to keep on using it for tutorials, I'd have to get a better card, I'd have to get more tapes, blah, blah, blah. It's nice, though. So if you have one of these, don't throw it out. Keep it, or give it to me. I'll take it. And... A collector but yes remember all the links are down below and that this was all just an experiment Hoo like subscribe thank you